Hey y'all, it's Martha here. Um, I'm coming to you today with a collective haul from Amazon, mostly Timu. Um, let me share with you what I got first from Amazon since it's a lot less. But um, I saw a lot of people recommend these little looper tools and I finally broke down and bought one. I've been collecting stuff to do dangles and um, beads and all that kind of stuff for, I don't know, months now, and I've not got around to it, but I'm hoping to get to it in the next few months. I have to rewatch some videos and stuff, so I'm hoping these will help me in my projects. And then I finally got myself a, um, you know, stamping platform. And I haven't even took this one out of the package yet. So let's see if we can get in it and look at it together. Um, I don't know. Sometimes you just need something to help you. And I made myself out of a, one out of a CD case. And it worked pretty good. But it's not going to last long. And I didn't want to have to keep remaking them. But I got this one on Amazon, and it was, I believe, $33.75, something like that. But I bought it because um, I liked the size of it, and that way you could do cards or maybe even an art piece or whatever you wanted. But um seems to be really made well. It's got this... Uh, I don't know what you call that, like felt or cork or something on the bottom to help it from sliding. Uh, you've got a couple of magnets here. Oh, pretty strong too. I like that. And then you've got uh, your gridded page here. I mean, your acrylic front, whatever you want to call it, but I'm really hoping this will do well. It looks like it's got these little, they like push down like that. That's nice. And I want to play with that very soon. And I really wanted to get one of those Misty's, but I did not I want to pay $70 for it. I'm too cheap for that. But this one seems like it's very well made. Well, maybe I shouldn't say too cheap, kind of too poor. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be playing with this in the next few days. And I also bought one of these. I thought it might help me do a little better with my stamping. I don't know. It looks kind of small, but it might work. And I bought red, so maybe it'll be. I'll be less likely to lose it in the chaos. But that is my three main purchases. I did buy some glue and stuff, but you guys don't really want to see that, I'm sure. <clears throat> so, here is the fun part from Timu. And I think I'm just going to kind of dump it over here at the side. And uh, show you what I got. Some more some wire to help me with my learning to bead quest. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, and I ordered myself some more texture stamps. So <coughs> I don't know if you can see, but it's like this one looks like kind of like vines. And well, it's just kind of hard to describe. Let me put a piece of paper under it. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah. I like that. So, I got that. And, um, that'll be fun to use. And I bought these pretty. Let's open these up. And see what they look like. I think they're <coughs> they're doilies, I guess. 
I may have to jump up here, y'all, and get a cough drop here in a minute. But I was drinking coffee. Uh, that doesn't taste good together. So let me see. Oh, yeah, some pretty little doilies. And they're not stickers, but they're very pretty. <coughs> Got hearts, different shapes different sizes and different edgings here and i hope i'm in frame let me take a peek i think i'm doing all right another heart and then looks like they're mostly hearts which i ain't mad at because they're very pretty and i did think there were some circles and stuff but there's not Oh, look at that one. Very pretty. <coughs> okay, y'all. I gotta go run and get a cough drop real fast. <laughs> so, I guess the coffee is just gonna have to wait. till I get this cough drop taste out of my mouth. Those are so fun. Okay, now uh, a lot of this stuff is kind of pink, so I'll explain that <coughs> to you in a minute. And I got myself a couple of bone folders. I did have one and I lost it, I don't know how. I think it got accidentally thrown away. I did keep it in my scoreboard and I took it out. I thought, I'm gonna, I don't wanna lose this. But that's why I kept it in the score scoring board so long. But then I lost it. So there we go. <laughs> I got a big one and a small one. Those are really nice. And then let's take a look at this. It says Junk Journal Retro. I think it says Vintage. I think it's hard to read that small stuff. <clears throat> but we'll see together. Got that came in this pretty folder. Oh, it's this pretty paper. They, this is beautiful paper. And I wanted one of each color, but I thought I'd get one at a time. Look at the pretty little birdies. Now that sounded creepy, didn't it? <laughs> I love this. I guess it's kind of like a teal color. And it's got roses. It's very beautiful, and the edges are like, look like they're kind of burned, but I guess it's, it's just printed that way. And there's one with a little house. <clears throat> so, very beautiful paper. Oh, look at that one with the picture. I love this color, especially with pink. So these will be fun to use. And let me see, do I have to cut these? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. So these are just little buttons and they're kitty cat buttons. Aren't they so cute? Look at my kitty cats. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? They have different prints on them. Oh, that's so fun. And I don't remember how many's in here. I think it's 30, maybe 50. Look at those, look at this one. Oh, these are stinking cute. I love um, crafting with buttons anyway. Now, I haven't bought myself a new pair of earrings in a while because during the pandemic, I went crazy buying jewelry on Facebook from my cousin who was selling it. And it was my form of entertainment during the pandemic. So... <laughs> I haven't bought any jewelry in a while, but I thought these were kind of cute. So let's look at them and see what we think. <clears throat> Not quite as pretty as they were in the picture, but still cute. 
I loved the colors. Let's see. I think that is a cactus scene with teals and yellows and oranges. They are kind of big. Um, I used to wear really big earrings. I'm not so much into it now since I got older and lazy. But we shall see. I might use them for junk journaling if I don't wear them. Okay, and then this cute little... It's a... I don't remember. I think it's a window decal or an iron-on. I don't remember. I'll have to look in the orders just to be sure. Feels like a rub-on transfer, but it's a kitty cat and a Santa hat in pink, and it's so cute. And there are actually three of them. I think they are rub-ons because that's kind of rubbery. Those are adorable. He almost looks like an elf. His ears are so pointy and long. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do a pink Christmas in some of my crafting. So that's why you're going to see a lot of pink. And let's see. What else do we have here? <clears throat> Here's some more of that paper in the pretty folder which is can be also used and this one it looks like i guess it's roses i don't know it looks kind of like tulips but it's in pinks very pretty as well the pink is a little bit muted but still pretty Now these ones look kind of red orange instead of pink, so I guess it's a mixed bag. <clears throat> I guess these are not just roses. There's different kinds of flowers in this one, which I'm not mad about that. I love all flowers. Just very partial to roses. And I think it stems from the pack. Uh, excuse me while I try to talk. I think it stems from the fact I spent so many years trying to learn how to draw a, a very good one. I used to spend a lot of time drawing and painting roses. Yeah, those are really cute. <clears throat> It even looks like there's some purples in here. So that's pretty. Some pink ribbon. Look at how much is there. I don't remember how much, but that looks like a lot. Very pretty pink. Look, it goes good with the kitties. And then I got this. Don't know if I'm going to be able to open that. Let me see. It's one of those. It's like a dotting pin to pick up uh, those tiny little gems and things like that. You could probably use it for diamond painting. But I got it. Try and make it easier to pick up things when I'm putting them on... Uh, small like small gems and stuff so we will be trying that it looks like it's double sided I think this is the one with the wax <clears throat> so I thought that I could give that a shot see how it goes I think this was pretty cheap too but it's very nice and then I got some frames. We have some more hearts here. Looks like there might be two of each. I love those colors together. Pinks and greens. Those are kind of a muted 
And then this one has flowers. It's pretty. And this one is round. Very nice. I like those. Okay, let's see. What else have we got here? Oh, I saw this paper, and I'm just about done uh, making um, fall and Thanksgiving stuff, but this is so pretty. I had to buy it. I'll probably be saving it mostly for next year. Look at that paper. Isn't that so cute? Got these little animals on it and the pretty colors with the autumn <clears throat> colors. And you could just fold it over and make yourself a small journal with it if you wanted to. Because the other side is white and it looks like it's meant to be folded. So yeah, you could just make yourself a little journal by just folding the papers over. And look at these little kids. They look like they have those AI created faces to me. <laughs> Some little, I guess those are mice. <laughs> A little fox. Robin Hood fox is what it reminds me of. And this is adorable with all these little animals dressed like people with the fall scenes so cute and i think there is only one of each sheet which is wow get a lot of sheets for just one print per sheet <laughs> so cute i love this Okay, now I got some more little frames. I guess there's no use to open these, but they are, they're, there's look like there's oval and square, and they're just kind of creams and off-whites. So those are, I must have got a really good deal to get all those frames. And then let me share this one with you. <coughs> So pretty. Heart-shaped gems with pink and diamond color. So pretty. I love those. Now, let's see. I don't really remember ordering this, but Let's open it. Maybe I'll remember it when I see what it looks like inside. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that little cottage. Beautiful. Great for collaging or card fronts or, oh, look at the train. Whatever you wanted to use it for. Still don't really remember picking it out, but I must have. <coughs> then I bought some stickers for Christmas. And uh, I tried to get some without the white border. I think I did get some of the white border, but these are very cute. Little gingerbread houses and Christmas desserts. I thought maybe there were more to the pack, but I guess not. There's very, they're very pretty though, and they have, uh, they're edged and outlined in gold. Very pretty. And then I got two pink ribbons. And you get quite a lot in these. And this is a different style. Look how fluffy and pretty. I like it. 
Now, what else? I got a few more things over here. And here is a little piece of lace. I don't think I realized it was so little when I ordered it. And it's not very big. Let's see. This ruler is uh, 18 inches. So it's about two and a half feet long. That's pretty though. And then I ordered this ornament. I kind of wanted to get it for my daughter, but it's, I don't think it's what I was expecting. It's cute, don't get me wrong. I like it. Get this gold cord. And um, this picture on here is textured. But in the picture, it looks like that it, it's like the uh, textured resin. But it's not. It's just a print. It is cute, though. And let's see. Make sure I'm got everything here and here is some pretty ribbon it's kind of a muted pink but it's Christmassy as well <clears throat> I don't remember how many yards but you get a quite a lot of this it has snowflakes on it um, and then there are some Christmas buttons I think they're enam like plastic or enamel, and they're, the print is really small though. But I see Christmas trees and snowman, and there's a Santa, I believe. I don't want to take them out. They're little. They're going to get scattered. And then here's some jimmies. They're flower shaped. Kind of small, and you get all kinds of mix of colors. And then here's the stickers I bought, y'all. They have the white border, but I couldn't resist. They're just so darn cute. Look at that. They're very beautiful. Ornaments. That candy cane, very pretty. Bells, fireplace, dessert, presents, and a Santa in pink. Pink Santa hat. Roses on a package. Wreath. Present. Shopping cart full of goodies. Dessert, gift bag, sleigh, candles. So you see, there's even there. Look at that. That's nice. Some champagne or wine, I guess. Pretty. Okay, I think that's all except for one more thing, and I wanted to open it last. I bought this because when I saw the picture, I thought it looked so pretty. I am a little disappointed, though, because <clears throat> from the picture, I thought it was white, but it's more of a natural color. I kind of wanted to make a journal cover with it. It's very beautiful, but I don't, I'm not sure that all these pinks that I bought look good with it. Because it's kind of muted and they're definitely not. So, I guess, you know, in a journal though, everything doesn't have to match. But, um, yeah, it, I expected it to be brighter than that. It's a table runner. It's really beautiful. So tell me what y'all think. 
Would you use this as a journal cover and these bright pinks with it? Do you think it would look all right? So, anyway, I think that's my haul. Lots of beautiful things. They don't all match, but, you know, I'm a matchy-matchy girl, so I guess I need to get over that. All right. I will see y'all again soon with a, um, I'm going to do a little review for something I got, um, free soon. Probably go up today or tomorrow, later today or tomorrow morning. All right, y'all. I will see you soon. Bye now. Love y'all.